rainy day that was unexpected we woke up to loud cracks of thunder downpouring rain and so that's what we have today I'm mostly ready for the day got up at 6 30 our little boy has been struggling through the night with I think gas or something I've had sauerkraut the last few days I'm gonna not have that and see if that is doing it so um, what I eat usually affects my kids through nursing it just is what it is so I have to watch what I eat, like no spices, no red sauce, not a lot of tomatoes, so that stinks when tomato season really comes in here soon. But I just thought I'd bring you along today. I was expecting to show you some of my garden and things like that because it's looking good, uh, but it's gonna rain all day, which we need because we have had such dry, dry weather here in the Midwest. And so I'm praising the Lord for the rain, but I think I'm gonna have some um, baking and cooking and stuff like that in the kitchen here. So I'm gonna make some strawberry rhubarb jam with some strawberries that I got from the store because they're on sale right now, it's strawberry season, and some rhubarb from a neighbor and make some of that up. I made a batch before baby came and now I'm gonna make another batch. But girls are playing in the living room right now. Um, it's about 8.30, so it's just gonna be a day of whatever it is. Elias is sleeping right now after he had a nursing during breakfast, so it's just been kind of, after two weeks of having a baby here, it's just been adjusting, and so that's what we're, that's what we're doing. And so things may not go how planned, but you mamas who are watching know what life is like with three littles or little ones or nursing and all of that stuff. So um, let's get a little prepping of some jam ready and then um, we'll see what the rest of the day brings too. I gotta share this hack with my cast iron. Instead of drying it like I usually do with paper towel, you throw it wet back on your stove top, turn it on and it is wonderful. It's like dry completely. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So I'm not wasting paper towel. Um, and then I'll oil it. Maybe I'll have to use paper towel for that. No, I should just reserve a cloth to oil it. So I'll oil it with some coconut oil and they'll be ready for when I use them next, which will be later today again. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb jam is originated from Shay Elliott from the Elliott Homestead and it is so delicious. So this is a staple every spring that I make from strawberries from the store and rhubarb from a neighbor's garden. So it's really quite simple and it's got such a wonderful taste. It's a low sugar um, recipe because it uses honey for the sweetener and then a low sugar pectin. You grate in some fresh ginger, some cinnamon, and voila, it is so simple, so easy. I do puree it a little bit to get some of the bigger chunks out, but I make probably a dozen, if not two dozen jars of this jam in the springtime to put on my shelves for the winter months. And then I do can it. Shay Elliott does the upside down method, which is um, debatable on if you should do it that way or not. So I just decided to can it in a hot water bath in a stock pot. You can use your hot water bath or two, but um, I just canned it 10 minutes and then let it sit for 24 hours and oh my goodness it's so good we had to put a jar in the fridge to eat for breakfast with our toast the next day 
Bat plane and a blimp. Blimp, yep. I did go in the blimp. So we are cruising through the town. What is that one? All right, so jam is done. I got the dishes cleaned up from that. Girls are watching a short Daniel Tiger show right now. It's like 10, 15. I'm gonna have to feed Elias here again. Um, so I'll probably just go sit out with them while they do that. And then we might run out to introduce Elias to my husband's employees. So um, we'll drive there. It is just still down pouring outside like a continual rain there was not even a chance in the forecast and it's just been raining and it's just rain all day today all day tomorrow and it's just a praise yet i really wanted to be outside some today but we're gonna just make things work a little bit i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning here before elias wakes up in my living area um in hallway because today is that cleaning um section i have a cleaning schedule i created and follow and i love it having that just so i know every day what I need to clean. I like having my living space clean on Fridays because we usually have company or guests on weekends. And so it's just nice to have that space dusted, vacuumed, um, tidying happens every night and every day. But I'm gonna do that a little bit and then get feeding and then probably head to my husband's work and then it'll be lunch and then I'll be nap and the day will just keep rolling. over lunch is done and cleaned up it is one o'clock i am prepping for supper so i do this when i have littles who need nursing so newborn stage because right now his schedule is unpredictable he's two weeks old right now so um while he's napping and my two others are napping i am meal prepping for supper and we have pizza on friday nights which it is today so i got veggies sauteed olives cut up salad prepped i just need to grate the cheese and i'll be pretty much ready for the pizza tonight um the sun is peeking out didn't know that was supposed to happen it looks like it's gonna um potentially rain again though so just kind of fun to have the sun pop out in the middle of the day all right i had an interruption my oldest is still awake but also fun little surprise my husband comes home for lunch and he brought me a coffee from our flower shop slash coffee shop here in the small little town where um we are close to so fun little drink it's a macadamia nut latte it's really pretty good with the full sugar pump it's probably better than the sugar-free fake sugar anyways so anyways, yeah, while well it's nap time, have half hour, I'll finish grating the cheese. <clears throat> then I'm gonna work on a blog post, the homemade slow cooker um, yogurt I have, cause I know some of you wanted that recipe and it'll be over on my blog, so davykillian.com. So you'll have a printable recipe for you to follow if you want. But that is what today is. So anyways, the morning zoomed by, afternoon will come and go too. It'll be evening bedtime. The days just seem to fly, especially when you sit and nurse for 45 minute increments um, multiple times a day. But let's keep prepping the food and work on the blog and enjoy my latte. <music> So I quickly threw my compost out and I thought I would share just a really quick garden update slash little tour um, after I nursed here. So it's not raining yet. I'm looking into the sun actually kind of, it's bright, but I'll just share a little bit of what's happening in the garden right now. All right, so I have some potatoes here that are getting nice and big and next to those are some sweet potato slips. 
here. I ordered those from Johnny Seed and they came in just this last week. Some pepper plants, some tomato plants, broccoli that is starting to bolt. <laughs> so that'll be on its way out because it's been so hot. And then my sweet corn, so a well matured growth there and then a new plant over there like a week ago so that it's um, staggered so we have it at different times which will be wonderful. All right, so then in the aquaponics, things are looking nice and growing well. Lettuces, kale, um, basil over there. My spinach did not come up. It looks like too much. So I've been checking on it, but I think the birds have been eating the spinach, which kind of stinks because I like spinach almost more than, more than I like um, kale. All right, my cilantro has blossomed. <laughs> Smells good though. Little mini pepper plants, they're not doing too hot. My tomatillo really took off. It even has some little blossoms right there. Tomato plants are doing great there too. And then we have some broccoli here and kale, or not broccoli, broccoli and cabbage. So yeah, that's what it is over here in this aquaponics. I know some of you are newer and are wondering what this really is. So I do have a video more about it where it's kind of fish farming and food growing in one. So fish are in here. That's the water tank. The fish, their pee and poo are what fertilizes this grow bed, the grow beds. And the water is siphoned out of the siphon there. My husband built this whole thing by himself. So it's just up on some cinder blocks with the IBC totes as water tanks and grow beds and so it was just a really cool system that he was able to build but I'll link that video if you're more interested in that. All right I'm sure you're noticing one common occurrence in all of these is weeds. <laughs> so with the newborn and little kiddos weeding has been a little tricky but my sweet potatoes not sweet potatoes my sugar snap peas are looking good growing well here growing up this hog panel that we had been given to us. So that's nice to have. Beans are looking pretty good. I think this is from too much nitrogen. Not sure though. So we did have a friend put some horse manure on here and I think he overloaded it a bit much. So then they're yellowing, but I'm not 100% sure if that's a nitrogen overabundance or not. Okay, beets are here. Yes, lots of weeds. We'll have to get to that later and thinning out the beets. Um, and then onions and more onions. So this is this garden. We love our beets. I pickle beets. Just gonna pull some weeds and <laughs> pickle beets every year. So how to make sure to have some of those around. Right, lastly, my cucumber plants. I'll have to trellis them so they can grow up. I usually just use large sticks to do that. And then carrots right there. And I just put two pepper plants in that pot there. All right, and this is my path through my cottage garden along our garage. We have some herbs over here growing and just loving this garden over here. Things are blooming. These snap peas, I gotta tell you, it's the coolest thing. I covered them last year, like cut them down to about five inches, and they just came back. And snap, not snap peas, um, snap dragons are annuals, and we're in like zone 4B, so very cold. And they survived. You just cover them with like leaves, and the snow helps insulate them. And then this is my favorite. Oh, the sun is peeking through, so. Just love this. The rose bush is on its way out, the climbing rose. A few that still need to bloom, but it was beautiful while it lasted. All right, I got an Amazon order and I ordered these new pillow covers. So I'm gonna try those out. If I like them, I'll link them. Even if I don't like them, I can try to remember to link them for you. And then I just needed another car seat mirror because I have one on our toddler who's still back facing and now we have a newborn that I need to put a new mirror on. Okay so these are 20 inches and my pillows are 18 so we'll see. I think I have a couple inserts downstairs that I'll check on but this one needs to go out. It's been ripped apart. Um, I'll just unzip it and take that off but 
little kids and tassels is not the best idea. Pretty pillow, just not the best idea with those tassels. So my last thrift haul, I got some pink pillows that you should check out if you're interested in that, that I've been incorporating too. Adding new touches to my home is something that I love to do. And if that includes saving up or budgeting for some extra pillow covers, then I am all for that. Because I found some thrifted, so why not get one new, use a few thrifted, and experiment with what I like. So I think I'm going with the pink. I really do like the pink. So we'll see when I show you my spring or summer home decor ideas. Alright, so we ended up going outside for a little walk and to a park and Elias fell asleep in the car seat so that's perfect in the stroller. Um, he's napping but I'm gonna get supper started with pizza this way um, and preheat my pizza oven or pizza stone and cast iron so I'm a little like outdoor blown but no big deal right and it's about five o'clock so husband will be home in not too long which is always wonderful and kids are pretty calm right now usually five o'clock is I don't know what you call it but the witching hour so we'll um, see how it goes and that's why I prep supper so I am not in chaos when husband comes home and I can talk with him let him have a little debriefing time if he needs his time to rest for himself because I want to serve my husband in that way if I can too and not just push the kids off on him or ask him I need your help or whatnot but he is always willing to pitch in but like I said let's get some supper started and um, get pizza going. After having Elias, my four-year-old has been helping out a lot more around the house, folding laundry, setting the table with some assistance, and it's not always done to the proper etiquette, but it is helpful. She's helping me with meal, so it's just nice to have her learning how to assist in different ways around the house and outside of the house. And then sourdough pizza time. So getting things done holding the baby and husband will end up helping you'll see the transition soon but that's just life when you have a newborn and it's so wonderful to have a spouse who assists around the house with watching the other kids doing dishes finishing up supper and I just appreciate Blaze my husband who helps so much in this time and does a lot of the outside chores too Jesus rest loved Zacchaeus when no one else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend, even when no one else was. Well, friends, it's time to wrap up the day after I took a nice, warm, rinse-off shower, get myself some tea, and it's date night for my husband and I, so we are watching a show and folding laundry. So hope you enjoyed coming along today with me and my family.